Obvious question, but off to a quick start and a big home run in the second inning. Just talk about uh, do, getting off to a quick start today. Well, it's always important, you know, when you're playing in tournaments anytime, whether it's a Friday night three-game series, um, whatever it may be, Kyle, it's just nice to get off to a good start, a quick start. Um, offense set the tone, and David Hess did too on the mound. Oh, and let's talk about David next in. He's your ace. You pitched him. You, that's a game you have to win to keep advancing. Just talk about what he gave you and how that set up your rotation for the rest of the tournament. Yeah, well, Dave, David does what he well, you know, did what he does. He just went out there and competed for us, did a great job. Cruised early. First three innings were pretty, pretty simple. Um, he really had to battle like crazy. Moorhead's a good, good offensive team. He really had to fight innings four, five, and six, but did a great job, uh, you know, laying the breaking ball in there, really working his breaking ball later in the game. Um, just battled uh, really hard for us. We talked about sometimes the lack of home runs in this park, and we mentioned Daniel, just the ball he hit was a no-doubter, really, but uh, you really found some offense to and hit the ball in the gaps, too, as well as the home run. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one thing I had a question asked me earlier. You know, we lead the nation in home runs and home runs per game, and someone said, wow, you know, this part, well, what you got to do there is just drive the gaps and get doubles and triples instead of home runs, possibly. And which actually Kyle can create even bigger innings, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, but it was nice to see D. Miles hit that hit that three run shot, maybe in the third, whatever inning that was, second, third, and uh, and get us off to a good start. And you don't know who you play yet, Seema or Eastern Illinois. Just talk about uh, tomorrow. What you do between now and tomorrow night's game? You know. Both teams are good teams, so what we'll do, we'll just focus on ourselves and, you know, make sure that we just do what we do, what Tennessee Tech baseball does, and, and just go out and, you know, play the best baseball we possibly Let's talk to first, uh, quick start, your home run in the second inning, but uh, just talk a little bit about that and how it helped your team uh, just propel in this game. I mean, you always want to jump out to an early lead, and uh, with our offense, you know, we're capable of doing, and uh, gives Hess a cushion, you know, and he's a little more relaxed out there, able to throw pitches in certain counts, and... Uh, you know, it's very important. How uh, is there anything different from last year? Your team didn't hit a whole lot of home runs last year in the tournament, and it's a big park. Just what's it like hitting in this park? Uh, I mean, it's fun. You just try to hit line drives, and uh, if you you know get a good pitch to hit, it'll carry out. Uh, how important is it obviously to win the first game in the tournament and stay in the winners bracket? It's very important. Uh, Hess did out, did a good job, and uh, you know you want to. Try to win three games and be done. Just talk the differences in yesterday versus today, and Tech got off to a quick start hitting some uh, some balls on you. Well, they did. Uh, you know, obviously they're a great offensive club. We know that going in. We know we got to limit the free stuff that they get, the walks, hit by pitches, and we got to make plays. And I thought the first day, you know, we made an error, and then uh, right behind that we got a double play ball we didn't turn, and you know that led to a run. And then the second inning, you know, we got a leadoff walk. And then uh, right behind that, we get a double play ball that, again, we don't turn. We got an out, but instead of uh, turning it, they still got a runner on. And then, uh, you know, next thing you know, they're having a big inning. And, and you know, they're a scary club offensively. And, and you have to limit the free stuff. And, you know, we walk seven guys in the first four and two thirds. And you're not going to beat good teams when you do that. What do you, what's the plan for tomorrow then, shaking this loss off and just playing? You don't know who you're playing yet, so, but. Uh, um, what do you do between now and then? Well, we'll just, uh, you know, we'll get back and regroup. I mean, we've been a very resilient club all year. I, I feel like we've had three straight uh, conference weekends that, you know, we, on Sunday were must wins for us, uh, you know, as far as getting to this tournament. And, uh, you know, we played some of our best baseball on those Sundays. So, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about that. We'll be ready to play tomorrow no matter who we play. You know, we'll figure out who we're throwing and so forth. Once we see who we're playing, well, Coach Johnson and I will talk about it a little bit. but. You know, we just got to flush this one and turn the page and get ready to go tomorrow.